Hey guys, what's going on? I touch stuff here, or Kieran from Sync Tech here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to jailbreak on iOS 4.0, 4.1, and beyond. So basically, this is the god of all jailbreaks. Um, it's called Lime Rain, made by GeoHot. Um, he beat the dev team to it. Um, the Green Poison jailbreak by the dev team was supposed to be released today at 10:10:10 10, 10, at 10:10 10, 10 a.m., but GeoHot released his yesterday on October 9th and um, it actually uses a different exploit than the one that the dev team was going to use and it supports the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3G, iPad, iPhone 4 and the brand new iPod Touch 4G and again this is like the god of all jailbreaks what we've been waiting for and I uh, can't wait to get my iPod Touch 4G jailbroken now to download this uh, application just visit limerain.com l-i-m-e-r uh, a1n dot c-o-m and you'll be taken to this page where at the top it'll give you a little description, six months in the making, supported devices, and tethered thanks to Comex, and um, how Mac will be coming soon because currently there is no Mac download. Even though I am on a Mac, I'm going to be using Parallels uh, Desktop 6 um, to jailbreak. So down at the bottom you'll see a section called Known Bugs, uh, just some bugs that people have been having, and uh, the change log, which is currently at beta 4, and at the very, very bottom, it'll say download for Windows and then a donate button so uh, you can donate to him. Now, uh, just click download for Windows and it'll download as a .exe file and drag it to your desktop and whatnot. And here I am in Parallels 5, uh, 6 actually, sorry, and uh, I have the application right here. What you want to do before you jailbreak, uh, you want to plug your iPod Touch, uh, iPhone or iPad into the computer. And um, here's a known uh, bug that I also have. Uh, or had was um, I was not updated to the latest um, version of iTunes uh, when I tried to jailbreak, so it just got stuck on the waiting for device. And it took me, I think it, I started trying to film this video at around uh, 11 o'clock this morning, and now it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So it took me a good couple hours to try and figure this out. Um, and also, if you're running this on a parallels, May, you need to make sure that you have iTunes downloaded not on your Mac but also on your Parallels um, virtual machine um, because apparently iTunes has all the drivers and everything that this jailbreak will be using to jailbreak your iPod so that's what you need to do be sure you have iTunes and that you're on the latest iTunes version so once that's all done you can double click on the Lime Rain application after you have your iPod plugged in and as you can see it has a very very similar interface to the one of Black Rain all you have to do is click make it rain, only the after process is a little bit more difficult because you'll need to be entering DFU mode. So I have my iPod Touch 4G here connected, I'm going to click make it rain, waiting for device, it's going to enter into recovery mode, which it is doing right now. This is good, iTunes may pop up, um, you can just quit out of it, and now it's telling you to hold the home and power button, uh, which is these two, and for that's about for 10 seconds and you want to release the power button now when it tells you to and just hold the home button and when it tells you to release uh... it doesn't tell you to release but it just says in DFU mode wait so it's in DFU mode now and just wait there you go iTunes will pop up again it's jailbreaking it says your jailbreak is done basically you don't have to hold anything down anymore you can exit out of this exit out of everything and after that whole line rain icon goes away, you can boot your iPod up by holding this uh, sleep wake button, and you should be jailbroken. Now, I'm sorry if that was a little confusing to you guys, and if there was a lot of pop-ups that were distracting you, um, but hopefully you got to see that um, pretty good. And in the description, I'll tell you guys what to do um, if you're having any trouble. So after this is booted up, um, you should get a application that says Lime Rain, which we'll see when it does boot up. And uh, let's give it a couple more seconds here. So I'll boot it up. Look for an application that says Lime Rain, which I have mine right there. I'm going to cancel the sync and click on Lime Rain. You will need Wi Fi for this because um, you're going to install uh, Cydia. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have Wi Fi at the moment, it's down right now. Um, but as soon as I do, uh, I'll go ahead and download Cydia and everything. But you should have something that says Select Packages and it should give you the option to download Cydia, so you click on it and then in the upper right hand corner hit install. Cydia is all downloaded after that process is done. You might have to reboot um, to get Cydia on your home screen, 
And then there you go. You can open up Cydia, have fun downloading all your apps, how to jailbreak uh, on an iPod Touch 4G. Have fun, guys.